Hello again, I'm your host Scott Fry and welcome to another Magnificent Monday here on MouthMob.com. Uh, we're going through our seven keys to terrific teeth and we have a very tremendous show for you here today. We're going through one of our more fascinating topics, the enamel pellicle. Now, the pellicle is probably the most overlooked element in oral health today and even in dental school we didn't cover it a whole lot. Uh, essentially, the enamel pellicle is a specialized protein coating that covers your teeth with components from your saliva. And it's pretty much like a skin for your teeth. These proteins uh, will go ahead and inside of a minute, once your teeth are exposed to saliva, they're going to start coating your teeth and it takes about two hours until the pellicle reaches its full thickness. The major role of your pellicle is protection. Now. Uh, the, it protects your teeth by lubricating them and making them more resistant to abrasion. And with the lubrication, it's also going to make you chew your food more efficiently. Uh, it also makes your teeth more resistant to acid erosion. And there are several active enzymes that are present in your enamel pellicle that uh, serve as micro antimicrobials and it fights bacteria. Uh, another function of your pellicle is that it also is responsible for adherence or it mediates that adherence of bacteria to your teeth. Uh, your bacteria need uh, some protein or another compound in order to grab onto your teeth before they can actually start to grow. And the structure of your pellicle actually determines when, where, and which types of bacteria can actually stick to and grow in your teeth. And usually bacteria take about four hours to colonize your teeth, and that's two hours after your pellicle is fully formed. Unfortunately, uh, the pellicle's got a bad rap through the years because it is also much of the staining that happens with your teeth come from iron compounds and polyphenols that are in your diet that are embedded in the pellicle itself as it matures. Uh, but ironically, these these same polyphenols that are responsible for stain are things that give your tooth and the pellicle more acid resistance and, it actually, and some of them actually fight bacteria. So if you're ever watching uh, the National Geographic channel and you see some of these, teeth, these te uh, people with these teeth that are super, super stained or you ever wondered what people did before they had toothpaste, well, that will be it. They, have, they never got any of this off of their teeth. There was lots of staining, but the teeth were protected mostly because of the pellicle and the things that were incorporated in it that made the teeth resistant to the bacteria. So, um, you know, the key here though is rather than having your pellicle be a source of staining, just for staining of your teeth, you want it to, you know, you want to make your pellicle work for you by preserving the integrity of it and modifying its content by eating fruits uh, and drinking some teas uh, to maximize the protective capacity of the pellicle. So, but assuming you have a balanced diet already, you know, there's no need to go ahead and, you know, load up on any fruits or any particular teas. The easiest way to go ahead and maximize the protective capacity of your pellicle is just using low abrasive toothpastes and not overly whitening your teeth and only whitening your teeth and using at-home whitening products periodically because that will strip the pellicle off and you're going to have to start from scratch building it up again to protect your teeth. So if you do focus on just those two things, the low abrasive toothpastes and not overly whitening your teeth, um, you know, you'll be really surprised with the benefit that you can get out of your pellicle. Now I, I hope you found this uh, show pretty helpful. Um, I've posted some progress photos down below of our teeth from two weeks ago and how they're doing and all their, the acidic beverages in the water. But be sure to leave a comment down below. Let us know how we can improve the videos here and make these more useful for you. I'll see you next week. Take care.